Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to use the cascade mold from Molds and Shapes and I already prepared my clear resin. I filled it into my mold and I'm just giving it a quick torch. What I want to do is the 3D bloom and this is just a trial. Um, I made a close up for my pores. So the first color I'm using here is the Campari. And I dotted it into my mold. The Campari is a resin ink from Etta Art. And now I'm taking my white mix. And for the white, I used the pigment drops in white and also some of the interfering champagne from Etta Art. And now I'm just pouring a spiral. So it's a rather easy pour. I just pour it out of the cup. If you are not comfortable, pour it um, out of a piping bag. So my next color I'm dropping is the um, grape purple. I really needed to think about it. It's a grape purple and I'm doing the same. I dropped exactly in the same way like my white, uh, like my, my yellow, the Campari. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit confused. And now I'm just pouring my spiral. So it's just a test to see how this comes across the video that I made these um, images bigger. So yeah, just wait and see <laughs> how your feedback is going to be and yeah, what you think about it. So my third color is here, the Peacock, and this is Resin Ink from Octopus. It's a beautiful blue tone and I really like it. And I'm again going with the spiral. And this is my third one. And the fourth one is octopus inked, the strawberry, and it's red. And I'm doing all the flowers practically in the same way, according to the dropping of the resin inks. But I will um, design the petals a little bit different. Yeah, there was something in my mold. Somehow I couldn't get hold of it. And then I thought, just leave it. And now I'm going again with the spiral in my red. I really love how the um, resin inks are spreading because some people say they are not spreading, but your resin needs to be warm so it can spread and then you have a nice result. So now I'm back to my normal view and I'm just designing my petals. I go from the outside in four times. So I have four petals. Then again, to create my eight petals. And then I'm just um, going from the inside to the outside to make my petal design. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I like it without this um, going from the inside out. It's just in the mood how I am. And you can create your petals as you want to. It's just a suggestion what you can do. So this is my first flower done. Just a quick torch and then my second flower. And I'm again doing the same. I'm just going from the outside in four times and then in the middle of the petals so I create eight petals and this one I'm just gonna leave like it is and a quick spiral or a quick swirl in the center not a spiral a swirl sorry and now my blue one and I'm again doing the same from the outside in and then also the eight petals and then I'm going again into the petals so I create 18 petals. 18? Six? No, 16 petals. I'm sorry. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I cannot count anymore. There are 16 petals so that the petals are smaller and I'm just giving it a swirl in the center. And now my red one. I'm also going from the outside in. I was thinking about what to do. So yeah, first I wanted to go from the inside out, but then I decided I do the same, but I'm doing like 
first five petals. You see it there. And then I'm just pulling my stick again from the outside, but not straight to the center, just a little bit. Can you see it? So I'm not right in the center because I want to um, have a thicker center with um, this whirl. I don't know if it makes sense, but maybe you see it at the end result, but we will see. So these are my flowers done. And I'm quite confident that they will turn out okay. <laughs> because you never know. So I'm, I'm just, um, well, I'm not overconfident. But in this case, I was confident, if you know what I mean. So this next day, I can demote and you see how the back changed. But they re look rather good. So I cannot see major blobs even though I like the blobs sometimes because they give a great depth. And I also often like the clear um, negative space because it's like the flowers are lying on glass. And this is what I like also. I don't always need a background or anything, just the flower itself because, yeah, it's a design by itself. And now just flipping it over and look at this really love the yellow I love the Campari and it has really a brilliant 3d effect it almost looks like those Easter flowers even though these the petals are a little bit different with them but it reminded me on this and now the blue one with the peacock I'm not quite satisfied with my swirl to be honest because there's a big block but for the rest I'm very happy and now the great purple one let's have a look and look at this even though it has blobs um, I really like it because this one has a lot of depths and when you look at the side with the cascade um, um, coasters you can see the different shades of the colors the different steps somehow and it's beautiful and this red one the strawberry one and this is actually together with the yellow one my favorite I really like it I also like the white petals at the outside so I'm very happy with the bloom result because um, I haven't done too many blooms in the recently so I'm quite happy that I still can do them and I promise there are coming more blooms in the future because I really, this is one of my favorite techniques. And with the end result, I'm going to love and leave you and thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.